Kia ora. Welcome to the first lesson in Descriptive Statements. Today, we're going to learn to describe things using the word he. To do this, he starts the sentence. Immediately after, we put the description. Pero, for example, which means red. Finally, we put the thing that we're describing. Te turu means the chair. He pero te turu. The chair is red. If we are talking about more than one chair, we only have to change te to Nga. He fero nga turu. The chairs are red. The rest of the sentence does not change. To describe a more specific chair, we can use tene, which means this. He fero tene turu. This chair is red. To describe more than one chair, we drop the T from tene. He fero tene turu. These chairs are red. It's important to remember that the description always follows the word he. And the thing that we're describing always goes at the end of the sentence. When you say, this chair is red, this chair is the thing. And red is the description of the chair. He fero tene turu. This chair is red. If you wanted to say this is a red chair, red chair would be the description, and this would be the thing. Thuru fiddle, then a. This is a red chair. Let's practice and also learn some new words. Tai tai means tall. Rako means tree. He tai tai te rako. The tree is tall. He tai tai nga rako. The trees are tall. Poto means short. Tane means Man. How would you say the man is short? He poto te tane. Now, how would you say the men are short? He poto nga tane. Reka means tasty. Kai means food. He reka tene kai. This food is tasty. 
He kai reka tenai. This is tasty food. Makariri means cold. Inu means drink. How would you say this drink is cold? He makariri tenai inu. How would you say these drinks are cold? He makariri enai inu. How would you say this is a cold drink? He inu makariri tenai. How would you say these are cold drinks. He inu makariri enai. There you have it. Now you know how to describe things in Māori. Kakite.